star. You're going to be a star. Be a star. The star. He's <laughs> going to be a star, guys. We're talking about Anthony. You made that video happen. You. When I, grew, when I, when I grow up, I want to be a fisherman. You are a fisherman. Don't be acting crazy. <laughs> He's got a 28 Liberator on the way, guys. But this is not a Liberator. What is this? Uh, this right here, this is our Defiance 220 San Juan. This oh. is... All right, all right. Hold, hold on, hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on. First of all, introduce yourself yeah. because right now we're at the Seattle Boat Show. Yep. And uh, I filmed some of these boats, right? I think with Bo a couple years ago. I, I feel like uh, you were here a couple years ago. We looked at some boats, and um, I think you looked at the 32 Dominator that we had here, and we had the, the Liberator here. Um, I think the 270 Admiral, which was our 27 uh, okay. fiberglass boat. Okay, that was so, so this is um, the San Juan 2020. Uh, 220. 220. Yep, 220 San Juan. Okay, so tell me a little bit about this boat. Yeah, so this boat is uh, kind of a mix of the two worlds that we put together. Uh, some of our clients... Fiber, wanted, fiberglass boat, by the way. Fiberglass, Because yeah. some, some people will confuse it with... Because we're in the Pacific Northwest of Seattle and you guys actually build aluminum. aluminum but yep, this is your sure. fiberglass. Yeah, this is our fiberglass line. It's 100% composite. Uh, there's no wood in this boat at all. It's, it's all um, a composite material, so nothing to rock. Making these over here as well in, yeah. in, in Bremerton? Yep, we make them in Bremerton. Yep. Isn't there a new line, Maycraft, that there. you guys also have? Yep, we have Maycraft boats out of North Carolina. In North Carolina. Yep, and okay. so we have uh, facilities on East and West Coast now. Nice. For okay. manufacturing boats, yep. Okay, so this is a small little pilot house boat. It is, yeah. Uh, uh, weather boat, right? Like, get away from the weather? Yep. Yep. So tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, so the San Juan was, we wanted to make something for folks that wanted to have some creature comforts to cruise in, mm -hmm. but still have a fishing deck, a nice. cockpit back here to fish. So we came up with the San Juan. Um, and with this guy, you still have the business end of things for, for deep sea fishing, uh, trolling for salmon, you know, fishing for albacore tuna, whatever your fishery might be. Uh, plenty of room back here for downriggers, and crab pots, and, and multiple lines and gear. Um, and guys back here dancing on the floor. And then we've also built a pilot house here that has some great amenities with the, the dinette, um, the galley, nice fridge in here. Wow, some, this is nice. Some creature comforts, yeah. So you can kind of, a little bit of camping, a little bit of cruising, a little bit of fishing, all, all on the same platform. That sounds like a line for a, like a song. A yeah. little bit of camping, a little bit of cruising, a little yeah. bit of fishing. Yeah. Yeah. Right? There you go. <laughs> yeah. You, they, you better copy right, something. You better yeah. copy right that. Yeah. <laughs> all yeah. right. Um, so, okay. So tell me a little bit about the, the setup here, right? This yeah. is. Yep. So nice, clean, easy layout on the dash. We can flush mount uh, most electronics in there up to a 12 inch. We got plenty of room for it. Um, you got room to flush mount other electronics. There's autopilots like in this one. Um, we got a nice berth in there, six and a half feet of berth, so full, full size adults can lay down in there. You can usually get too comfy in there. This table comes down too, so we got another berth up here, a smaller one. We have easy access to the anchor locker in there. We can put a head underneath the cushion or a porta potty. Um, we can customize this boat. For and this is a 22 foot boat? Yeah, yeah. And wow, let me tell you something, it's very spacious. Very spacious, yeah. Very spacious, very spacious. And, and, and you actually, if you wanted to lay down and knock out for a little while you can no problem yeah and not get wet if there's rain or anything yep. like that come in here if it gets cold and nasty out you close it down close the door close the windows we can put a we can put a heater in here too so it just kind of depends on, on tell me about the itself. power and how how this boat performs with that honda yeah this boat does great with the honda the we put the honda 200 on here um this boat cruises is at about 28 to 30 miles an hour um wide open probably more like 30 38 37 miles an hour, so the same scoots gets it no problem. You can have um, a seating configuration there if you wanted to yep, or no? Yep, we have an option where we can put the transom bench seat in here, so it'd give you a full another bench that folds down flush or comes up. We'd have a backrest in the rod holders back here and uh, give you another three spots to sit for people in the back. What's up nice. with that Admiral? Well, the Admiral over here, that's the business end of the fishing fleet. That, that's got a smaller pilot house. It's got seating for four. The nice thing about our 220 Admiral is on comparable sizes for competitors, we got more fuel tank, we got more seating inside the pilot house, we got more deck space. Uh, all so the same same bottom, platform. just more fishing. Yep, more fishing. So yeah. so yep. dance floor on that one, and this one's more comforts yep. as far as space in here. Yep, yep. Um, 
What's what's the fuel capacity on something like this? Uh, both these vessels have a hundred gallon tank. In them. Hundred gallon yeah. tank. Yeah. Let's shoot to the admiral. And let's yeah. go take okay. a look. Let's check it out. You're gonna. Oh, you're going. I go right across. Yeah. You're going right across. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm holding a big old camera, a gimbal, and the <laughs> last thing I want to do is be filmed on my own chicho. Yeah. <laughs> Alfred Montaner Falls. <laughs> hey, there it is. Okay, so I, as it says here, as shown, 119.99. Yep. And the other one over there said, as shown, 130.99. Yep. yep. Okay, so definitely much more space to fish here. Yeah, oh, for sure. Completely uh, different feel as soon as you come in. So yep. tell me about what we got going on. Wide here. open cockpit here. This is this is a offshore dream fish machine. This 22 footer will fish anywhere. A 30 footer will fish. Might not be as big and comfy, but as far as confidence on the open water, this boat can get you out, get you back. It, it handles swells. It handles a chop. It does extremely well. It's a self bailing deck, sealed deck, in floor fish boxes. I feel like fishing while I'm in this. I ain't gonna yeah. even lie. I yeah. want to fish. Yeah, this is yeah, the real I, deal. Yeah. I can I can see someone running to those rod holders real quick. Yep. Fish on. Yep. Fish on. Exactly right. So we've equipped this one with the kicker, with the Yamaha 200. It performs great with these motors with the swim step. Um, this is an optional cockpit rail. Some customers wanted a little bit higher sides, a little little different. Um, our philosophy on the freeboard is you want to be able to reach down and grab the fish. Mm -hmm. um, you get your hands down there. So we do this in six and twelve inches. So. So clients can order it either way or with none at all. On and this is a dual with. station as well yeah. option? Yeah, we've we've included this one with our full second station, full control. So this this is the Yamaha DEC, so that's the um, the F two hundred XCA, so it's all drive by wire. And so with the drive by wire it opens up a lot of possibilities. The second station here, we've outfitted electronics here with the Ray Marine um, that's networked into the NEMA, so all the data can be at both stations. Inside the pilot house, we have seating for four. So getting out of the bad weather, we have the two jump seats, two forward facing seats. Nice flush mount dash as well on this one, like the San Juan. Is there a little porter potty or, or, or a head option? Is available underneath yeah. that center cushion. Yeah, it's, it's available. Yep. It's available. Um, flushing heads available as well. So okay, so here's the compromise. This mm -hmm. is the the debate that the, the people are going to have. Right. Yeah. Do we get more cabin or do we get more fish space? Yeah. I felt so good out there. Yeah. And now I missed the other one. <laughs> yeah. Right? right? Yeah. But yeah. I, I want this. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But at that point, do I have to buy a bigger boat? Yeah. So then you go to the 250 Admiral. Okay. Right? okay yeah. So that, all right. So, yeah. It's so, okay. All right. We yeah. have it covered. I got at least. you covered. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. We all can right. go to the 250 or the 270 or the 290, however big you want oh, it. Okay. But so I have an, I have an out if I need it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I, I can see where the compromises are made. Like if you, know. if you go fishing, maybe you and a buddy yeah. all the time, this is probably what you want, yeah. right? Yeah. You know, you come in and out. Yep. Um, now, if you're going to go with your family, you're going to do a lot more fishing. I would say probably the San Juan is yeah. a little if bit more comfortable. If you're bringing the kids, the wife's coming a lot, then absolutely. Let's show, let's show the bottom of okay. these boats because okay. it's the same boat, right? Yeah, it's the same boat. It's the same bottom. Let's show because, you know, you know they haven't seen that. Let's go see. You can tell me a little bit about it. Um, how do we get out to that side? We can go through here. Yeah, we can go through here. Yeah, it's okay. Can. Okay. There we are, guys. Okay. So, so with these, with this whole design, we have an ultra aggressive dead rise here at the bow. So 50, 55 degrees at the bow. We have an oversized reverse chine molded in here so it makes these boats incredibly stable you don't get the rock in this bad people standing on one side or the other doesn't rock the boat back and forth bad this does an amazing job of cutting the chop when you're when you're coming across the chop at some speed it, it feels a lot better than getting pounded bang 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 with a lot of the lesser dead rise boats so it goes all the way back to a to a 20 22 degree dead rise at the transom mm -hmm. so ultra aggressive back there as well Handles nice on following seas, coming down swells. It Does looks a really good job. Of it looks stable, very so. good. Yep. Very very nice. Now, slight differences on these two uh, on the top or no? Uh, Same. Yeah. So the cap piece is different. The a hull, little bit different. The hull is 
the hull is the same mold. Okay. And and the difference is, is the cap, right? So the cap is a different house with the forward swept windows on the San Juan. Gives you a little bit more open roomy feel inside there for that, that cabin space. The, the Admiral, different piece on top. Cockpit space is different. You see, this is why this is why I like coming out here, right? Yeah. Those small little things. Yeah. You think you're on the same boat, but it's not. It's, it's not. It's it's there's slight differences. Yep. Little and you're gonna you're gonna have yep. to you're gonna have to pick. Um, no, do you nice, have? You know, do you, oh, go ahead. Do you, no, no, do you have the 25 here? I do not, unfortunately. You, have you don't have it. Here, yeah. Okay, no. so I, I wonder if I did that 25 video with Bo. I gotta find out. Yeah. Um, we'll check the channel. If not, I'll try to see if we can probably link something. Sure. At that. Yeah. Um, okay. So so where do we go? If we wanted to get more information on, on these Defiance. Ah, well, you can check us out online, defianceboats.com. Okay. Um, or, you can, or you can reach out to your local dealer. They're, they're scattered around the country, West Coast and East Coast, for Defiance Boats. Um, but uh, probably the best place to start is defianceboats.com. And get you linked up with your nearest dealer. Okay, what, 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 what boat is this here? What, this, what is, is, this is our Allied Mustang 25-foot hardtop. So this is part of the Defiance Boats Group family. This is our aluminum line, the Allied Boats. Okay. Um, and this is a brand new model that we've introduced for 2023 here at the Seattle Boat Show. Mm -hmm. uh, we had been making this model in 19 and 21 feet. Okay. Um, and we've decided to come out and extend it with a, with a, with a massive fish cockpit on the back of this thing. So we've got the pilot house. The is it in the Defiance line? Uh, it's it's in the Allied line, but yeah, it's a Defiance family boat. It, it right? is it yeah. is a family. So, yep. Yeah. All right. So you know what? Because it's, it's it's comparable to what we're seeing. Yeah. And we already did a video of that thirty-two. Yeah. You know what? Um, that's the thirty-four. The thirty-four. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. The thirty-four. I got punched in the stomach, guys. Yeah. I can't breathe. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, um, let's walk this Mustang real okay, quick. Okay, let's do it. Let's go, yep. we'll, fin we'll finish it. You know what, I wasn't planning on this, but one of the things that that I like about you guys is that you have aluminum and fiberglass options yep. based on what you guys want. Yeah. And that 34, guys, yes, there is a video of that one, and the one in the far uh, 32 in the the cat. Wow, that cat was also amazing. There's a video that on that one is, as well. Yeah, okay, so we got sweet. 129,000. 99 uh here 2023 guys but keep in mind the world changes every day <laughs> wow yeah wow right wait a second so this is the business in the fishing here just get a football and I'll, yeah. i mean put some lines on this yeah seriously right dude. wow oh man this is this is straight up fishing yeah yeah this is a lean mean fishing machine right here wow we got in floor fish box transom fish box and you'll notice, Alfred, you just came through the transom walkthrough door, which is standard on all Allied boats. Massive, and massive, 25 foot. On here, you can run everything. You can multiple poles, double stacks. You got plenty of room for everything on this boat. You see, uh, what I don't understand for the price point mm -hmm. that you can get this amount of boat, stay out of the elements. Why are these not in Miami? Yeah, because <laughs> they don't see them there. Yeah, because they don't see them. They yeah. don't see them. People yeah. buy only what they see if they see the value in this man yeah. i'll tell you right now you'll see a lot more of these boats over there yeah, yeah wow for sure so so, so tell yeah. me a little bit about this cabin yeah nice uh nice luxury seating in here double diamond stitch um we we when we make all those seats in-house we've equipped this one with the shockwave sentinels so the air ride suspension bases um we got a nice brushed aluminum dash all our switch panel some nice ray marine electronics in here and one thing that kind of sets us apart in a lot of the aluminum brands is we, we fully finished the interior. So um, this thing's been headlined, it's been carpeted, it's been sound dampened, and it makes it for a lot nicer, quieter ride in here too. So um, overhead LED lights, daytime and nighttime running, big storage benches in here, storage in the step, walkthrough windshield. We've got nice glove box storage underneath both consoles. We got overhead trays that run along here for storage above. We got the lower trays that run along for storage below. This is. Yeah. I, I, this I'm thing's big, just a beauty, I'm, right? This yeah. is more, man. I like this a lot. Yeah. For fishing guys, look at this. I could put a dinghy up here if I wanted to. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have an email that they can contact you? What? 
what do you do with the company? Are you are you a part of sales? Yeah, yeah I'm oh. Steven, I'm the sales manager. Okay. And uh, yeah, people can email me at steven at defiancemarine.com um, and I can help facilitate, get them to their local guy. Um, if they're here in Washington, they can talk with me directly. Sea trials anywhere, maybe? Possibly, it depends. it depends on the dealer inventory of what they have available. Um, and uh, But yeah, I can help coordinate that stuff with folks. Guys, so. I'll tell you, Defiance, absolutely awesome boats, Allied, and then I, I gotta see the the May, what is it, Maycraft? Maycraft, Maycraft yeah. Maycraft in North Carolina, maybe the next time I'm in that way, who yep. knows? Yep, We'll Stop make something happen, guys. Yeah. Well, listen up, I wanna thank you guys so much. Fort Lauderdale, I'm sorry, not Fort Lauderdale, this is Seattle. I'm, <laughs> guys, I'm so jet lagged, you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I got in last night at 12, and oh, okay. my mind was three in the morning. Yeah, for sure. Right? Yeah. And I woke up at five, my time, which is <laughs> like two. Yeah, it was yeah. crazy. Yeah. But whatever, we're here. We're still yeah. working. <laughs> and uh, and same website for this this model as well, right? Uh, this would be alliedboats.com. Okay. Yep. So all, all our brands have their, their own website, alliedboats.com, defianceboats.com, arimaboats.com, and maycraftboats.com. And you can find all the information there and, and look up your local dealer as well. So awesome. I'll tell yep. you, uh, people are going to really love these boats. Yeah. Upper Mountain are making a scene at the Seattle Boat Show. <laughs> I'm out of here. I don't get tired, guys. I don't, I, I don't get tired. I'm, that's just a myth. No. I don't get tired. There's no tired in fishing. There's no tired in fishing. Yeah.